Good day again guys and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be drawing the most adorable little green tree frog. I love frogs so much I can't believe I don't draw them more often. Green tree frogs are incredibly common around where I live, often setting up home in people's downpipes which amplify their croaks as they sing for a mate. Oh, I love them so much. I also live quite close to a creek, so every time the rain comes, all of the frogs of every different kind sing a chorus. It's so fantastic. Unfortunately, we also have about a million cunning toads, which are kind of beautiful in their own lumpy, warty, poisonous, wildlife murdering kind of way, but we, we won't talk about that one today. The model for today's drawing was discovered while my family took our big old fat staffy out for a walk in the cool of the night. At first, I thought the lump sitting in the middle of the road must be a cane toad. They do have a certain way of sitting in the middle of the road that is pretty distinguishable to them, so I was pretty careful to make sure my <laughs> toad licking dog that didn't get close enough to find trouble. But as we got closer, something wasn't right. The shape was wrong. The colour was wrong. Oh, it's a little green tree frog in the middle of the road. But something wasn't right. My husband took his shirt off and quickly bundled this little fellow inside so that he couldn't leap away. He seemed content enough croaking away from inside the shirt. And when we got him home, I put him under a light to see what was going on. And then we saw the blood. Oh no, this poor little guy is hurt. And there wasn't much I could do except get him somewhere safe until morning. So I pulled out an old fish tank out of the garage, grabbed some leaves and bark out of the garden, added a few little drops of purified water just to keep things humid for him. And I left the little fellow rest for the night, protected from the cars and the owls that would probably love to have this little injured fellow for dinner. When I checked him in the morning, he had changed. From the bright green of the night before, he had turned to a deep olive brown to match the bark and the dead algae on the side of the tank. In the daylight, I could see that he had a huge gash running across his kneecap, exposing the bone. Oh, no. This was way more than I could help him with. So as soon as the local wildlife hospital opened, I took him in straight away. Frankly... I took him in expecting a pretty grim diagnosis, but no. Apparently you can give a little frog like this stitches and they heal pretty well. So I left him in their most capable hands and our little mate spent a few weeks on antibiotics and getting the full five star hotel experience. And within a few weeks, maybe a month, he was good as new. Well, maybe he had a cool new scar on his knee, but otherwise he was doing very, very well. I was so happy when they called us to pick him up. I genuinely didn't expect to hear from them. And, it, oh, it just, how good is that to know that he had made a full recovery? When I picked him up, he had been sitting in a beautiful green enclosure. So he had regained all of his vivid green colouring. And he had obviously been very well fed since he was significantly more chonky than the last time we saw him. That afternoon, we were able to re-release him back near where we found him. And, um, oh, it was a great feeling. I keep listening out for him when it rains, but among the cacophony of frogs that sing, I don't think I'll ever be able to pick him out of the crowd. But I hope he's doing well. I took a photo of this poor little fellow before I took him into the wildlife centre, so he was still in his brown colours. This drawing was a little bit of a challenge to me. Being that I don't usually draw frogs, I had to take some time on each section, making sure I was getting the anatomy right, especially around his ears and abdomen. That whole area was completely alien to me and I had to spend a lot of time really examining that reference photo. I also took my reference photo while he was still showing that more brown coloring, uh, but I wanted some more traditional frog colors so I couldn't really use my reference photo to help guide my color choice at this point. I probably should have looked up on Google to find some appropriate colors. Instead, I took inspiration from the way he had blended in so easily with his surroundings. So I used similar colors to what I had used in the background, except 
just maybe a wee tad more saturated so that he would stand out and I do think it turned out pretty well. This was my last piece to wrap up the train wreck <laughs> that was 2020. <sighs> Less said about that the better. Um, usually at this time of year I would take a moment to consider my art and my progress and what I want to achieve in the next year but after how utterly fucked 2020 ended up I really don't feel entirely safe making plans or predictions for 2021. I want to make more art, better art, bigger art but I'm going to just hold back and chill on making any wild declarations for now. So Here's the final piece. I really like this one. I do think it translates better in person than on camera, and I can't quite figure out why, but as it sits on the easel in front of me, I'm very pleased with the end result. I really like his feet. Oh my god, how cute are his feet? Aren't they just the cutest thing ever? And the hints of the light reflecting off his slightly damp skin. Oh, he's adorable. I love frogs. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a chance to do this one, even if it did cost an owl his dinner. As always, I would just like to take a moment to thank my patrons. The first of the real-time videos is available now for my $5 patrons, alongside a colour chart showing you the colours that I used, so I hope you'll enjoy that. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this. I am working on a huge 16 by 20 inch piece at the moment. Uh, so if you want to see how that's progressing, please check out my Facebook and Instagram. That one's going to take me a little while. I do hope you will leave a comment to tell me what you think of this piece. Um, but for now, I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys.